Hi everyone, and welcome to a quick video showing off how to get started with the Metro Overhaul Mod version 9.0 update. For a larger overview on Metro Overhaul, including an interview with Andre Harv, the main force on the Metro Overhaul team, watch the video I made for the City Skylines official channel last month. Version 9.0 comes with a new set of dependencies to get access to all the new features. Use the link in the description to a collection where it's easy to download all the required assets. Make sure they're all enabled in your in-game content manager as well. Once you have all the new content downloaded and updated, you're ready to get building. You'll notice new stations, the new Metro and Station UI, and more brand new features. In the next few videos on this channel, I'll be showing you how to use some of the new features like the new Station Converter, the Pillar Selection Tool, and the Quad Tracks. Stay tuned! When you're building a metro, you're probably going to want to start building with the station. As usual, the underground stations are found in the metro tab, but with version 9, the above ground and elevated stations are now found in their default menu, the trains tab. That's because these stations are ordinarily train station assets, but with version 9, Metro Overhaul can dynamically convert them and any other train stations you subscribe to to metro stations and back. When you select any station, you'll see the new station UI panel. The three tabs at the top of the window will allow you to quickly swap the entire station between its default transit type, Metro, and Train. Clicking the individual tracks below will allow you to customize which tracks of the station are which for trains and which are for metros. You can also choose the Metro track style in this menu. Two tracked stations now come in both island and side platform versions for both ground and elevated placements, and for your busiest networks, quad track stations are available for local and express stops both on ground level and elevated. Underground stations now even feature lighting. In real life, metro tracks are often found running directly above roads, so Metro Overhaul version 9 comes with a toggle that lets you easily build your tracks directly over your roads. When drawing metro tracks, select the Overroad Friendly checkbox to allow a seamless overroad building experience. It'll even disable snapping to ground level road nodes and allow metro pillars to appear without using anarchy. To perfect the overroad experience, we've included a variety of different pillars to fit over different road types. All four pillar types are available in both the modern and classic styles and can be used on single, double, and quad tracks. The only exception to this is that the narrow median pillar cannot be used with quad tracks. The structural engineers just wouldn't let us do that. Metro Overhaul version 9 has a big new feature, quad tracks. If you have a line that's too congested for just two tracks, building a local and express system can help you get your sims to where they need to go faster than ever. Sims will use both local and express trains and will even transfer across the platform to other trains if it's going to speed up their trip. You can also use the cross-platform transfers from the four track stations to build an interchange hub between different train routes to allow sims to seamlessly change from one line to another. The power of quad tracks does come with some responsibilities though. You'll want to avoid flat junctions wherever possible. This means that for smooth service, you're going to have to channel your road interchange skills to help make sure that your metro is free of jams. The one-way single and double tracks and some careful planning can have you weaving some smooth running service under or above your city. Don't be afraid to think in 3D when working above or underground. Depot placement in Metro Overhaul version 9 hasn't changed, but it does still have some tricks to make sure that your trains will always spawn. Unlike in the vanilla game, metros in Metro Overhaul require a depot to spawn, and that depot needs to have access to the line. Depots with Metro Overhaul will only spawn trains if there's a direct route to the closest geographical station on the line. To make sure that your trains can always spawn and despawn, either build a full Y junction onto your line or connect the depot off the end of the tracks. With Metro Overhaul Mod, we've set up some simple troubleshooting steps for you to follow to help determine if there's a problem with Metro Overhaul specifically. This will help us rule out any other interference. You can check them out at the bottom of the workshop description. By following each of the steps, you help us rule out any other mod conflicting with Metro Overhaul and rule out any problems that are outside of our control. By providing a vanilla save game that shows us the problem, it allows us to instantly recreate and test the issue ourselves. We hope to provide a bug-free experience to as many players as we can. 